Okay, what I'm going to show you here, I just came up with using a standard relay. This one just has to be at a Ford. I'll give you the kind of diagram there. <coughs> it's basically a simple kill switch for uh, your older cars. You know, people watch me know that I have quite a few late 60s cars that don't have locking columns and they don't have any sort of built in security device. Basically, what this is, in older cars, you'll typically like, you know, if you want to kill a switch, you just hide a, a toggle switch under the carpet. And basically, just cut the ignition wire after the regular key switch, have a hidden toggle switch somewhere, and then you gotta run your ignition wires all the way to that toggle switch wherever you hide it. And you can turn it off and on that way. People get in your car, it'll crank like crazy but won't start, so they'll just move on to the next car to steal. This is an automatic system. Problem with the ignition switch, yeah, it's simple, but if you're running it under your wires in your carpet, you got live wires there all the time. If you step on them, good chance to shorten it. Plus, if you forget to turn the ignition kill switch off at night and some lucky thief gets in your car, they can just start it. I've hooked this up with the light so you can see how it works. I think this wire is actually your ignition switch when you turn it on. You can have a warning buzzer or a light, you know, that comes on like that, letting you know that the system's arm or buzzer buzzing, but the car won't start. That light that's lit is just for show now. Let's take the second wire I got right here. It's got a different terminal line on, so I can tell what it is. When you say you first touch the ignition wire, and then this the wire represents a just a simple push button when it comes in contact. Kind of hard to do with so many hands. When it comes in contact, you see the light gets brighter, basically seeing that your ignition's on. You don't have to hold that wire on. There it is loose, and your car will be running. Now as soon as you turn the key off, it disarms the system. Even when you turn the key back on, See how it goes just to a standard dim light or regular light. It's you know it resets the system so the it would be off. Then once again when you hit your push button kill switch wherever that's at, it reignites the system. So this way you don't have to ever worry about turning your kill switch off. It kills itself automatically once this relay loses power. I'll show you a diagram on basically how all I'm doing is looping a wire on the relay so it keeps power to it. The center one here is just would be for your buzzer or light if you want a light saying that the system's armed. You don't even need that if you don't if you want no light at all. Uh, and one wire goes to your ignition switch to provide power and then there's a ground. Pretty simple, easy to do, and that way it makes it harder for your car to get stolen. Yeah, it's not a perfect cure, but it, it's simple. You can hide this relay where they can't find it. One thing you gotta remember is you don't want to put this too close to ignition switch because if they cut your wires after this, they can still hotwire it. So you want this far enough back to where they can't just hotwire it past it. And if you got an older car that has a uh, point system where it has a uh, resistance wire it has to go you know you can't have it in the resistance wire it's got to be between that and the ignition switch but other than that it's real simple relays don't cost much this one's actually out of a Ford but this simple relay with this di diagram is available in many different forms like I said I'll give you a diagram if, at the end of this you can copy on how to do it See ya.